Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Drawing Mill. This is the town of LaGrange. It's located in Illinois. I'm about 20 minutes away from Chicago by train. I moved here August of last year, so I haven't been here for a year yet. We live right across from the train station. It can either be a good thing or a bad thing. The yeah, carnival was in town for the week uh, during this during filming, so a lot of the footage will be of that. Bumping into my students left and right, and kids screaming on rides all day and all night. Woo! 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 So if you get off the train, you come to my town, the first thing you're introduced by is like the small town, has some cool stores, small stores, home-owned stores, family-owned stores, sorry, and basically everything's walking distance. I love this town. I love living here. We got family-owned stores, we have chain stores, like this Hallmark over here. We don't have fast food though. Actually, no, I lied. We do have. The community itself is a little bit of an older crowd, so I don't really see people my age, but I do see older people with their children and their kids are like in high school, so there are some little kids in that age range that are still in high school. Like I said before, there's a carnival here during when I'm filming, so you'll see a lot of footage from that. So they start unpacking this carnival two weeks before the opening opened it, I believe. Over here, what you see is the uh, Ferris wheel. It's like the first thing that you see as soon as you walk in from the main street. Windy City! Oh, these little kid rides. You can imagine how many <laughs> how many students I bumped into. I bumped into a lot, actually. They all ran over, and their parents were like, who the hell is that? And then they're all like, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell! And I'm like, ah! But I don't run away from them. I, I I stay and say hi. I haven't been teaching long enough for, the, for any high schoolers to know who I am, but I'm pretty sure their younger siblings do. I like seeing the boardwalk games, boardwalk, like uh, the squirt gun, the you know, different types of carnival food. I see people walking around with it. It's Awesome. Puts diet on hold for the entire town. The zipper. I don't think I've ever seen a ride like that, but that's kind of cool. And as I say that, I just got what the meaning of that ride is. I get it. I get it. But this is what I like to see in carnivals. Oh, and of course, Ticket Redemption. You can't forget about Ticket Redemption. And this is definitely not everyone from our town. There's definitely there's other people that are from other towns that I've seen over here. And that's basically it for the carnival. We do have a movie theater, which is awesome. I watched Frozen there. It's only like five bucks per movie. They don't play like the new releases right away, but they do play very recent movies. If you have time, I do suggest you go inside. In our town, there's a restaurant that was featured at Food Network for one the best barbecue places and I can say confidently I totally agree so please if you visit my town please visit Q and I feel like this place is always the last resort Palmer's place I always eat here and Al loves it here too and we always end up eating here every whenever we decide to go out this is across the street this is a uh, city hall fountain kids playing and uh <laughs> kind of reminds me of back to the future I haven't been to True Gert or Janiko's but I heard that it's pretty popular the only reason why I don't go there is because it's just infested with teenagers <laughs> it's just filled with high school students but I think this pizza place is really famous for like their big pizzas so I have to try them eventually. Oh, and we do have a Starbucks too. Well, I prefer Dunkin' Donuts now because I know the prices are a little better and Starbucks is a little overrated, but that's a different video. Here's a view looking down towards the train station, but there's a lot of stuff on the other side of the street. There's restaurants, there's uh, Indian, there's a bike store, and, oh, and my favorite, there's a comic book shop. This comic book shop is called Chimera's Comics. I see them at conventions all the time. I love them. They're awesome. They promote really well. Please go visit them. Support them. I haven't been there in a while though because I'm broke, but yeah, that's my town. That's basically it. it. The streets normally get busy when the trains are coming by and it clogs up the traffic all the way, but that's basically it. We're close to basically everything. We're close to the city, we're close to all major highways, anywhere you can imagine to eat, we're nearby, any store imaginable, we're, we're by. And we're just known for being a cute town. We have like a good variety of stores here, and I'm proud of that. We even have Fannie Mae candies. Uh, I didn't hear about Fannie Mae until earlier on, but since I, ever since I moved out here to Illinois, it's actually pretty good. I always tell people that visit me, get Garrett's and Fannie Mae, bring back to wherever you're coming from. It's good stuff. Other than downtown, I just love running and biking in the, in the neighborhood. It's just very nice. Such friendly people, big, big houses houses and medium-sized houses either way they're all good and this is the apartment building that i live in if you like this video please subscribe if not please give me a thumbs down if you liked it give me a thumbs up and as always have a good one